Guys, welcome back to the channel. S here from SNA's Organite Creations. Now we've got some new Organite to show you. Uh, if you see my last previous video, uh, you seen what I was making in the shed. But then I've gone ahead and made um, a few extras. So we're going to show you that. Now these here, in my opinion, are very correct in their making of uh, super strong Organite. Um, yeah, and they're all for sale. So keep that in mind. Just email us. It'll be in um, you know in the description below. We'll leave it in there. So go ahead and email us, we'll discuss pricing, shipping, um, and all that sort of stuff. We've got a couple of happy customers, it's fine. We've um, you know shipped a few times and it's all worked out, it's been fine. So I'm gonna turn you around, we're gonna get into it. Alright guys, now I've got a little bit of a display here for you. So the main focus is charge plates, pyramids. Yeah, so we're gonna get into it. All right, now, these new little tiny pyramids here. Now, there's a couple of different styles. So, the ones in the back, these three little ones here, they're a Nubian style. So, they're a more pointed um, pyramid, so they're more high vibrational, okay? And we've also got the Pyramid of Giza style here. All right, so I'll just get down. Now, we'll just run you through what is going on here and why they are so awesome. So, we've got a Tesla coil there it's been pulled out so it's sort of like an upside upside down tornado not only that it's embedded within the metals so it goes down in um yeah and um it's cut like the piece of wire it's been, it's been cut to the um, half length of the raw cubit length all right so it's a very sacred um, measurement and uh, that's what we do and the copper wire there is wrapped around the clear quartz in the middle there. Now you've got selenite going around there, you've got hematite and you've got tiger's eye. Now that selenite is always going to keep your crystals always charged and always cleansed. So they're always ready to go. Now the base, your um, tree of life, flower of life, um, emblem there. And you've got functional glitter, so that's a mixture of brass, steel and aluminium shavings. Alright, now the gold there is brass powder. Okay. And black is your black on oxide powder and shungite powder mix. All right, so that's why it's super strong. These are super dense, full of this powder. You can see how thick they are, full of it. Now, this one here is basically identical, just in a different style. Like I said, that's the Nubian style. So you've got basically the same sort of configuration in there. Um, those crystals are all embedded within the metal powder as well. They're actually a bit longer and they go down deep. And um, yeah, on the back, so very similar. All right, now this one here, a little bit different, just to the fact that it's got um, a various types of crystals in there. So you've got your terminated quartz crystal bang in the center. You've still got your Tesla coil. It looks like a cage embedded within the metal powders. And um, yeah, lots of various crystals. So you've got like uh, lapis lazuli, you've got um, adventurine, you've got um, tiger's eye, you've got onyx or um, uh, uh, tourmaline in there. And a few other like clear quartz and stuff like that. You've got red jasper, many many different stones in there. Okay, not only that, when we make this, and um, you know it's upside down, when we pour the metals, we're actually putting in more within like selenite and uh, quartz crystals. So we do put extras in there just because you can't see them doesn't mean they are not in there. Because I want this stuff to work, so I'll make them truly strong, and I want to put everything in there that's going to work and be powerful so you guys get um in my opinion i put everything i can in this and i've researched this for a long time everything I can to make these things work so this one here it's just got your amethyst hematite clear quartz you've got selenite in there to always keep them cleansed and charged so they're always ready to go and always going to work and you've got that on the back super super amazing all right guys now little charge plates let's just move on to them now i've got a few of these made all right so you could imagine having these here as that would be a really good coaster. You know, the way they're made, the molds that I have for these, that I've got for these here, um, are just perfect size. They're like coasters or they're just mini charge plates. You can take this to work, put your drink bottle on it. You can put these in the fridge to help keep and preserve your food for longer that's in your fridge. Uh, you can put it under your pillow to get into a nice deep sleep at night. So healing can allow. You know, you allow your body to heal when you're in the deep sleep. That's how your body does heal. And um, if you don't get a deep sleep, then you don't heal as much. But um, you, you, the reason how you know is if you have vivid dreams and you always dreams and you remember your dreams, you know you're getting into a deep sleep, okay? Now, that, that's just how you know. Now, these here, I'd put them on your Wi-Fi and your router, um, anywhere in the room, whatever you, 
every room could have something like this and um, underneath the your um, baby's cot like underneath the mattress so they can't get to it chewing or whatever or even on the floor underneath okay that will still protect and help your baby get into a deep better sleep and to heal because they're growing all the time very important okay and if you've got wi-fi in your house and you've got mobile phones on these are always um you know the cell phone towers and all that and your wi-fi they're always attracting this negative energy to your devices um, it goes through all matter, all walls, including you. It disrupts all your cell communication. So while you're sleeping, trying to heal, or just day, day, you know, your day-to-day -day life, um, things are passing through your body, disrupting your cells, and your cells communicate with each other. So we are energetic beings, and uh, this energy via our devices and electronic devices um, disrupts our natural way that we should be as humans. Right, it disrupts everything, but this here can grab hold of that energy and restructure it so it is less harmful. Okay, so when you sleep at night, you get into a deeper sleep. But anyway, enough about that. Um, yeah, got these um different charge plates. This one's a bit special due to the fact that it's got the Henniker in there, the Henniker um copper coil or triskelion copper coil. Now, that alone, just that piece by itself, um, will heal. It's actually a water uh, symbol, water element um coil. And um, you get this thing called Curlian or Carillion, I'm not sure how it is, but photography where they can take a picture, an image of, say, a piece of fruit, and you see the life force energy um, pulsing off of it. Now, you can do the same thing with this copper coil in this configuration. It does the same thing. It gives off life force energy always. So you can just take that alone, put it under your pitcher or glass of water, and it'll actually restructure it like, and make it healing and beneficial to the body, okay? So that's a very interesting configuration there. It's also in this massive charge plate here, which I'm gonna gonna get to. And um, yeah, not only that, you've got your hematite, you've got your amethyst, you've got selenite to always keep them cleansed and charged. And you've also got a mixture of the black iron oxide and shungite mix. So the shungite being very, very powerful. Uh, you know, um, you know, grabbing hold of these um, stray fields like the EMFs, the negativity, and restructuring it is very energetic, and it restructures um, water and everything, cleanses water, detoxifies water. Now, we being humans, we're 70% water, so it's a good idea to have some selenite all right, around you, with you. Uh, my pendant I'm wearing right now is made of selenite. We have other pendants um, made of selenite. I mean... Sorry, um, shungite. I'm talking about shungite. Made with shungite. These ones here, they're just fresh out of the mould. Now, they do not have shungite. They need to be cleaned up and polished. You know, they've got sharp edges and stuff like that. And, um, yeah, these here are just dense full of brass powders, okay, and various crystals. Like some of This is hematite and garnet. This has got hematite and falcon's eye, similar to tiger's eye, but different. It's got, like, a bluey tinge to it. And uh, this one here's got falcon's eye, garnets, and hematite. And this one's just hematite and red and yeah, garnets, okay? So something a bit different. I've just got them here because I just popped them out and decided to do the video. That's why they're there. They're just not done as pendants yet. So, moving on. Check out this big bad boy. This is what I've... If you see my last video, what I was making in the shed, this was it, okay? This is super thick. Um, the edges are very rounded. So it's very, very smooth. Um, it's very heavy. It's over a kilo, and the copper wire in there, the Henneker Triskelion, it's of a thicker gauge than um, that one there. All right. So, and yeah, like I was saying about it before, it's good stuff. This will be really good if you had this in your house. Yeah, it'll do like you know your whole house pretty much. It'll definitely do your all your lounge room. If you had it in your bedroom, you'd be set. Um, put it in the fridge, you'd be set. Around your you know, computers, Wi-Fi, modems, you'd be just, yes, you'd want that. Now, if I just, these here, they're, they're a real good size. So it's, you know, the size of my palm. And I'll just, for another visual, I'll put this directly on the center. So you can see how big the size difference now. It's a lot thicker than these even. You know, these here are not too bad for their size, pretty thick, um, very strong, like, you know. But yeah, what haven't I showed you? This one here. This one here is just, just your, basically the same as these pendants. It's just full of brass powder, okay? You can see, fairly thick, very polished. This is just the back, so, you know, but the front, now the front. Now behind there is a big um, piece of selenite. Not only that, it's got selenite powder and quartz crystal powder crushed up as well as all around here. You can sort of see a little bit of it. 
you can see how fine it is, it's very crushed up. You've got functional glitter around there and you've got these uh, green stones here. All right, so this here will appeal to someone, be a very good, decent charge plate and protective. They're all gonna put out a localized sort of field in uh, sort of all directions, you know, of your life force or organ or scalar energy, whatever you wanna call it. Now, we've got these big pyramids at the back here too. Now, like I was saying at the start, it's all for sale. So if you want anything, just email us. We'll discuss pricing, shipping, everything like that. I'll send you additional pictures if you'd like. And um, yeah, we can go from there. But these ones here, they're massive. And these ones here are over a kilo as well each. They are very heavy. And um, yeah, dense full of aluminium powder. Like this layer here is absolutely huge and thick. Full of it. You've got uh, your seashells there. You've got sand. Uh, from the beach which is loaded with um you know your silica your crush it's loaded with quartz crystals silica um just that there is really good um it's got a gold stone a blue gold stone um starfish in it copper coil around your um terminated quartz crystal and it's just super you can see it's a beach theme there we went for um that's the underneath um uh, very nice now this one here is slightly bigger now if i so they're around the same at the front level there and this one here is a bit bigger so it's also taller but uh, this one here we're going to let go for a cheaper all right than this one we're going to let it go for cheaper it's going to be reduced in price uh due to the fact it's got some visuals now this is very smooth okay so it's, this isn't catchy this isn't like you know it's been smoothed over it's been filled up with resin so it's very smooth now um yeah, so this here does not affect it. If anything, it gives it more character. That's what I think anyway. So I like a bit of character, but um, you know, it's absolutely fine. It's not gonna affect the way Organite functions. If you don't know, uh, look into it. But um, Organite being organic and inorganic materials, it attracts and repels this uh, life force energy, be it, be it good or bad. It could be stagnant or, um, you know, DOR as uh, Wilhelm Reich um, said which is bad negative and POR positive organ energy okay so it attracts both now the energies in that actually helps transmute it so it attracts all and then changes and restructures and pulls it out and throws it out all right so it's like this thing's breathing so these here the way that they work is not going to affect it at all and if anything this one may be stronger than this one due to the fact that it's got the black iron oxide powder and shungi in there you can see that it's also got um, your aluminium powder um, yeah, so guys, that's the base, and um, yeah, very good stuff. Um, what else can I say? Now, Carl Wells actually made Organite. He just he took Wilhelm Reich's work, changed it, and made it his own. So these here are not like Reich's organ accumulator. They do not work the same. People think you got to do layers. Like you can have an organic layer and an inorganic, and then alternating layers like his um accumulators which was a, was a box of say um sheet metal and then like sheep's wool or like some sort of metal and then um organic cotton or something like that you know it was alternating between um organic and inorganic these here can be instructed completely different because because the resin is organic and the metals are inorganic and when you use powder that's the only way to make strong organite okay forget your shavings because it doesn't work well it does but you're going to make very weak stuff like something like this for example all my little towel busters just for example these small little towel busters if you had big shavings like from a drill press the spiral pieces from a drill um, you'd have to do like a big full bucket size of organite with those shavings to equal something as big as my probably towel buster in strength if you know what I'm saying. So something like this, dense full of them, is super strong, okay? You'd have to make a pyramid that's a lot bigger to equal the same strength if you use shavings. This powder is so fine, it's like a dust, okay? Now when you got the resin and you put the metal powders within the resin and mix it, the resin coats it, okay? Now it's coated around that metal piece of powder. And then there's another one, and then there's another one, and then there's another one. So they are not touching, the metal is not technically touching because if it was the piece would fall apart if all the resin was around it and all the metal was touching the thing would fall apart so you mix it everything is not touching now you've got a layer in between all the hundreds and thousands of powders so this energy goes through all matter it these here attracts and repels the organic attracts the inorganic repels okay 
So it's always going in. And so there's energy always going into these. The crystals will transmute it and throw it out. Now, in the case of the shape, okay, pyramids will always throw a vortex out the tip. They will also create a localized scalar field or organ field as well. But they, the point, the energy likes to come out of sharp points, okay? So when corners all come to a point, this is the sharpest point, it's going to throw a vortex out the front. When you've got copper coils, and these here are embedded within the organite itself, they are they're bent in. Can you, if you can see? All right, they're bent in. So that's picking up that energy. It's grabbing it, and it's actually throwing it up and out. The way these Tesla coils are made is a directional thing, and it's throwing it up and out. Okay, so I know that this is coming out. Same with this one here. It's going to go out and all around. This one here, same thing. Then. As additional, you also got the quartz crystals. Now, when they're wrapped, because this is the tip or on the outer sides, the tip, the point, the natural point, you've got to wrap the wire in a clockwise spiral towards the tip. That's how I do it all. And that's where the energy is going to go through it out pretty much in all directions. And this will be up. So this is going to be very powerful energy everywhere. All right. Now, I've had a few comments. <coughs> Um, people giving me a hard time basically saying that this year's all hocus pocus rubbish doesn't work whatever um, if they've got an open mind and you do some research you will then see all right so this year is being very suppressed the powers that be do not want you to have this um, the powers that be like to harm us they give us wi-fi and soon this 5g is coming all right if you look up just the side effects of wi-fi and what can you know the symptoms be i guarantee you, you have some of those symptoms and, it's, and we have all these devices in our pockets we have our computers we have everyone's got wi-fi you can't escape it we've got cell phone towers everywhere um cities and towns they're just in a blanket of all this cosmic energy soup of yeah damaging everything you know it's damages dna if it's strong enough the forces you know and you've got walking around with these devices in your pocket you know and this here will help grab that, structure it so it's less damaging. Because yeah, your cells, they need to communicate. We're an energetic being. And um, if they if the cell gets disrupted, because these waves pass through everything through our body and it disrupts the signal, the communication bef between our cells. So when you sleep, you can't allow your body to heal because people have their cell phones on their bedside table, they leave their data on, or just even if your data's not on, um, it still um, picks up these waves. It's always searching for the nearest cell phone tower. It's always pulsating through your brain while you're sleeping. All right, That's just facts. So that's not just something I've just made up. Look it up. It's just facts, okay? This is how they work. Powers that be do not want you to know this. But this here will help you. Now, um, you go ahead. You should leave your phone on flight mode until you actually need it because that's one way to cancel out the effects of it. But people always have their, you know, computer devices or modems left on or whatever. Turn them off. And, um, you know, always I always wear an organite pendant. I'm wearing one now. It's got shungite powder in it and black iron oxide powder and various crystals, Tesla coil. And um, so everywhere I go, it doesn't matter. Um, I've got some sort of protection that's going to help um, with these energies and change them and restructure them so they're less damaging for me. And in return, I'll feel better, have less anxiety, have less stress. And I uh, just feel better. All right. So that is it guys, these here are most impressive. I'll be doing more of these, but if you guys want any of this stuff, just go ahead and email us, all right? They're very nicely made. In my opinion, the strongest way of making it. There's a lot of people doing it incorrect, and this is just my opinion, but I've done years of research. Um, talking, emailing people, commenting on different things, finding out information, gathering it for myself, because I'm not interested in making um, products that are just that look pretty. I want them to look nice, but as well have a massive function and actually work, okay? Um, otherwise I wouldn't be doing it. I don't half stuff us around and half do things. I want to do things properly. All right? And this is it. So get some, try it. You know, I'd love for everyone to have some. You know, these things here, you can put outside in your pot plants or whatever as well. Or if you've got a massive sort of garden veggie patch, you can put these, like, say, four of these in each corner. You're going to grid your whole property. You're going to look after, you know, your fruit trees, whatever you're making. Even if you put it in, even if you've got chickens or something, you know, you can put something in this where, you, you know, where your chicken lays its eggs or whatever. Happy, healthy, healthy chickens. 
chicken eggs. Anyway, guys, it's limitless. And you see massive, I mean, not massive, yeah. You see people doing massive um, cloud busters and things with big buckets full of resin and that. I mean, and big copper pipes sticking out of the ground. You know, they're cool and all. And they, they probably work fine, but you could just you get a few of these small little pyramids and they'll do the same thing. They can help, you know, um, uh, balance the weather out, get rid of the chemtrails because they're spraying all sorts of stuff on us. The geoengineering, whatever you want to call it, they are spraying stuff on us regardless. And I'm telling you, it's not good. And that's landing on all your roofs. If you collect rainwater and drink rainwater, guess what? It's not just rainwater. Um, I've, I've got a TDS meter where you can test the total dissolved solids in the water and it's quite high for rainwater. It should come down as zero, it being the natural process of it being distilled water. You know, it evaporates up into the clouds and it rains down. It's distilled water. But that's a whole nother, another subject, um, which I might touch on later as, um, you know, supplements, water... Um, more about this sort of stuff and what they can do if you like that sort of stuff um, leave a comment and I'll definitely do a video on it if people get interested in it or I might just go ahead and do it anyway my opinion of what we do here and um, show you some more you know I know a lot more knowledge than just organite I've got a lot about well I've got a lot of knowledge about all sorts of stuff I just don't know how to really say it um, I'm a researcher truth seeker and um, yeah guys all I've got to say is this stuff's available Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more videos.